dear children welcome back to the class as in the previous class we have seen jesus who died for each and all of us and today we are going to see the risen christ when jesus died joseph of adamathias and nicodemus one of the jewish leader took jesus's body down from the cross and buried in a tomb they placed a big stone at the entrance of the tomb and those who crucified jesus were afraid that the disciples of jesus would take his body away unnoticed hence they entrusted some soldiers to guard the tomb on sunday the third day of his death early at dawn some pious women came to the tomb with incense and perfume the door of the tomb was opened the women and the women did not know what had happened they saw an angel there he said to them not to be afraid he also said to them that he was not there and that he had risen the angel asked the women to go quickly and tell the disciples of jesus that jesus is alive and that he will meet them very soon the women were filled with great joy and excitement they rushed to the disciples but on their way jesus met them and the women worshiped him they said to one another in excitement he is alive he is alive the women shared the good news with the disciples but the story sounded incredible to them they could not believe they could not believe it to be true but some of them rushed to the tomb to find for themselves if what they had heard was true when they reached to the tomb they found an empty tomb just as the women had said Jesus had appeared to Mary Magdalene as well. On the same day two of Jesus' followers were on their way to Emmaus. They were talking about everything that had happened to Jesus. Suddenly Jesus appeared there and began to walk along with them but they failed to recognize him it was only at last supper when he took the bread and blessed it they recognized him but he disappeared their presence later Jesus appeared to his disciples too. He said to them, "Peace be with you." The disciples were astonished and couldn't believe their eyes. He showed them 
the marks of the nails on his hands and feet. They were filled with joy and courage. He entrusted them the task to go to the whole world and proclaim the good news. We celebrate Easter in commemoration of the resurrection of Jesus. It is a festival of joy. It is a celebration of victory over sin and death. The resurrection of Jesus is the greatest miracle Jesus performed. It is the foundation of Christian faith. It, is, it offers hope to people and assures that our life does not end with our death, but we have a sure hope life. On the 40th day of his resurrection, Jesus appeared to the disciples again. He lifted up his arms and blessed them. After that, Jesus ascended into heaven and disappeared. Jesus died and resurrected for us. His resurrection is the proof that Jesus is the Son of God. Let us confess with faith that Jesus is our Lord and God. Let us all strive to reach God the Father in heaven through Jesus who ascended into heaven. Let us ask God for the grace to celebrate Jesus' victory and lives as happy people. Dear children, please join your hands and close your eyes and thank the Lord for giving us the gift of the Holy Spirit to understand what we learned in this lesson. Continue to bless us, Lord. Be with us that we may be able to experience the joy and peace within us and may be able to understand the unconditional love of the recent Christ in our lives. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.